Woolwich Arsenal. Original home to the football team. That's why they got those uh, cannons on the badge due to the armaments works that were here. That's the uh, site of the old Royal Arsenal. I think that weather spins over there, the Great Harry takes its name from uh, an enormous warship that was built here for Henry VIII in the uh, famous Woolwich Dockyard. There's a video on my channel here where I go to the old Woolwich Dockyard. As you can see, there's a lot of development going on around Woolwich. The old Royal Arsenal's already been developed, sort into like a massive gated community. But you can see that loads more happening around here. See the planning notice, development by uh, Mayor Holmes. Woolwich is just the, uh, the launch pad for today's walk, really. It is a fascinating area. Obviously, Woolwich is a, you know, is a garrison town still, actually. It's got a bit of that feel to it. Just over here, behind me, is still the Woolwich Barracks. Fascinating, though, Woolwich. There's, a, there's quite a, bit, a lot about Woolwich in my book, This Other London, if you want to know more. Today's walk is going to take us from Woolwich, and I want to go up to Elton. Never been there before. And who knows, that could be the end, so that's the target, maybe we'll carry on. Here's the Woolwich Barracks. It's quite a majestic building, isn't it? Across the sports ground here, but there's quite a clear warning, this is Ministry of Defence property. Probably not allowed to use cameras, they've been monitored by CCTV, so someone might come and have a chat with me. Woolwich is the home of the uh, Royal Artillery. Hence the name of the football club, or the nickname of the football club is the Gunners. And here's a memorial. So they lost their life in South Africa, in the Boer War. I'm going to make my way now across Woolwich Common, up towards uh, Eltham Common. I'm calling it Eltham, I think that's correct. Some people might say Eltham, but I don't think so. I think it's Eltham. These last days of summer are glorious. It's uh, September the 2nd today. And in some ways, this is the best month, September, in a way. As you get the sun is just warming rather than burning. It's a nourishing sun as the summer burns itself away. You kind of get a lovely golden light this time of year. I do love it, even though it's sad that the summer's ending and the evenings are starting to draw in a bit more. There's something quite beautiful about it as well. Dead stems of late summer. This is a fascinating passage across Woolwich Common. These dried out tall stems. So here's the uh, Capital Ring, Green Chain Walk, which I haven't really mentioned before. I sort of do cross over it a bit from time to time. It's going in a slightly different direction to me today, although it does end up in Elton Palace. It's a good view back towards Woolwich from the high point of the common. It's good to be south of the river. It's interesting, you can see here, I'm kind of walking between the walks that I did with uh, Ian Sinclair last summer. We, we, we walked from uh, Oxley's Wood 
over Shooters Hill and then we ended up going through Marion Park, Charlton Park and getting the Woolwich Ferry. Shooters Hill, this is the old Roman Road, Roman Watling Street. So this is the way we're going to go now, we'll go up here across Eltham Common up towards Seven Drew Castle and uh, work it out from there. Through the woods, I think this is a remnant of the old forest of Kent. It came all the way down to the shores of the Thames. It's wonderful, isn't it? Useful information boards. Oxley's Woodlands, Castle Woods. Welcome to Oxley's Woodlands, one of the last remaining ancient woodlands in London. There you go, 8,000 years old. So this is a Seven Drew Castle, which I believe is just built as a, a memorial, like a monument on the top of Shooter's Hill to a little nobleman. Here we go, top of Seven Drew Castle. Paid the admission, three quid. Here we go to the roof of Seven Drew Castle. Wow. So we're 500 feet above sea level here. It's incredible. Across the Thames there, you can see the city, the Shard. So this first ridge of this first ridge here the first is first ridge is Eltham. Um, yeah, the second ridge is second Chiselhurst, yeah. And then Biggan Hill and the North Downs so ah. runs along. And that must be Crystal no, Palace, right? That's Crystal Palace, Palace, yeah. That yeah. pride in it's the, the oh. block that sticks up above yeah. the sky. It's interesting when you when you went in that they um, the gentleman gave a little kind of talk about Seven Drug Castle and Seven Drug the Battle of Seven Drug was the battle when the East India Company defeated a local Indian prince and marks the point at which the East India Company became basically the colonial rulers of India for the next hundred years so in a way it's a monument to the uh, Commodore who led that successful battle. But also it's a monument <laughs> to the start of British rule in India in a way, isn't it? Which gives it a slightly different twist. Back through the woods. I don't know if this is Oxley's Woods, but I'm certainly heading towards Oxley's Woods anyway. You hear the distant sound of a band playing. So that was actually called Jack Wood. And Oxley's Wood is over there. Actually, I'm sort of heading in this direction, towards Elton, so I might not go through Oxley's Wood. I'm tempted to go and listen to that band, but... There we go, a gig on the hill. A gig on Shooter's Hill. That little brick building up there where the music is has one of the funnest views of any cafe in London. Look, if I turn around... Over there... Look at the view. You can sit up on that little terrace drink that in, in the morning. Looking down there towards Eltham, which is my next stop. It's going to go through Eltham Park and then walk through Eltham. So Eltham Park North, which is actually Shepherd's Lees Woods. A name redolent with echoes of the past. And here we go. It's been a real woodland walk, isn't it? I've got to be honest with you, when I laid the map out on the bed this morning and planned this walk, I didn't think I would be doing a woodland walk. <laughs> Fantastic the way it's turned out, isn't it? 
Got a touching tribute here to somebody who passed away and was clearly very loved. I'll tell you what, Eltham is certainly very sleepy on a Sunday afternoon, about half past four. I believe Eltham is the birthplace of Bob Hope, <laughs> the uh, comedian, actor and uh, celebrity golfer. Well Hall Pleasurance. It's an interesting surprise. Didn't feature on my plans for today, but once I spied it from across the road, I can't ignore it. Look at it. It's the, uh, the remains of a, a manor and a manor house, which, uh, which dates back to around the 13th century. So it's got a bit of pedigree. It's a fantastic little bit of a sort of Art Deco font there, isn't it? Sherard Mansions. It's really quite an elegant high street here, Eltham High Street. It's a classic interwar shopping parade. So I'm here at the crossroads, and I think I'm going to end this walk today at Elton Palace. I'm not going to spend the £16 to go in, but hopefully I can see some of it anyway. So, Elton Palace is down here somewhere. It's a Tudor Palace. I believe it was built for Henry VIII. So, I think this is going to be about as close as I can get to Elton Palace. You have to pay £16.50 to get in. And it shuts in just over half oh, an hour. So I won't be doing that. It's a majestic building, isn't it? I was also put off by the fact that apparently the uh, interior was completely um, done in an Art Deco style in the 1920s. So I think the Tudor bit is the exterior. Look, there's the moat down there. So I think I'll leave it here. Elton Palace is a good place to finish. What an amazing walk. So we, we had kind of historic barracks down in Woolwich, <laughs> ancient woodland, up on Shooter's Hill, um, Seven Droog Castle, a crazy monument to colonialism, and then we've gone through more woodland and parkland than we've ended up here at Tudor Palace, South East London, that is South East London. What a wonderful <laughs> adventure it was. Right. So I'm just going to get a bag of chips now and then jump on a bus back to, um, back to Woolwich and back on the DLR.